Hey everyone, it's Miss H. I'm going to be helping you with your contractions today. But before we begin, if you can, grab a dry erase marker, grab your eraser. If you have your board, grab your board. If not, you can always use ah, some pet paper. You can use paper and a pencil. Okay, so grab that and we're gonna get started. So we're going to be going over contractions, what you've been doing in class. Now let's think about it. What do you think a contraction is? Hmm. I think a contraction is, now tell me what you think it is. All right, let's find out. Ooh, a contraction is a shorter way to say two words. So a contraction is used when you're talking to your friends. It's just more, it's just an easier way to say things and it's a faster way to say things. But now how about this? What do you think an apostrophe is? So think about it. So I think an apostrophe is, now tell me what you think it is. All right. An apostrophe takes the place of the letter or letters that were taken out of the second word. Because remember, a contraction is two words, but you put the apostrophe when it needs to take the place of a letter or letters that were taken out of the second word. So now let's look at contraction rules because you know with every new thing there's always a rule. So number one, right here, one, push two words together. Did plus not equals did not. So as you can see, I put the two words together. I push them just like this. Boop. Now they're one word, but it doesn't look right. We have to fix it. So number two, the first word usually stays the same, but the second word loses a letter or letters. So now we have the two words that are one word, and we see that little line in between the O. Now we have to add the apostrophe in the place of the missing letter or letters. In this case, it was only one letter. So did not becomes didn't. Didn't. So let's go to the next slide. Now I'm going to go over some of these tips. These are going to be very helpful for you but I'm gonna see if that comes off. All right, good, so I had to take that off, sorry. Now, up here we have contractions that use the word not will replace the O with an apostrophe. Did not, didn't. Contractions that use the word is will replace the I with an apostrophe. It is, it's. Contractions with the word are will replace the A with an apostrophe. You are equals your. Contractions using will replace the WI with an apostrophe. It will, it'll. That sounds funny. <laughs> Contractions use have and had replace the HA with an apostrophe. So here's the example for have. Should have, should have. I had equals I'd. Now, down here, contractions that do not follow the rule. So let me wait until that goes away. Will not becomes won't. Cannot becomes can't. Will not loses I-L-L -L to become won't. Cannot loses one of the N's in an O. Now, Here's an example. This is when you can get your um, dry erase board ready because after the example, we're going to practice. So let's just look at the example first. 
Here are your two words, did not. You say them. Good job. Now take out the letter O in the second word and add the apostrophe. Did not, take it out. Now you have to add the apostrophe to yet didn't. Here is your new word, didn't. Let's say that, didn't. Now it's your turn. Awesome job. Now it's time to practice. So let's get our dry erase board, marker, board, and your eraser, okay? So here are your two words. Now I'm not going to color them how they are in here, but I'm going to just use one marker. So we have, we will, so let's say it, we will, then we're going to take out WI. So I'm going to cross that out because I no longer need it. And then our new word will be will. W E apostrophe L L. Will. Okay, when you're done, erase it. Here's your next one. Time to practice again. Here are your two words, write them down. They are. Who remembers what letter we take out? We're not taking out two, we're only taking out one. Let's see if you're right. Take out the A. They are, take out the R. I mean, I'm sorry, take out the A and add the apostrophe for there. And then here's your word, there. And I want you to practice writing it as well. There. Okay. Now, you can erase your board. You're going to be practicing on your own. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side because I no longer need it. Now, in your Google Classroom, I have this already set up for you. All you have to do is type inside the document, and I'll show you that. So time to practice. So you're going to make contractions out of these words. Are not, could have, she is. Then you're going to create sentences using the contractions. So here's your example. Here's my two words. It is, when they become a contraction, it's. Now, this is my sentence. It's my turn to set the table for dinner. So that means I have to put my forks, spoons, knives, plates, napkins out for everybody. But I want you to take are not, use it in a sentence, could have, she is, but it needs to be in the contraction form. So I'm going to exit out of this to show you. So on the Google stream, you'll see this. You can... Hmm, one sec. There we go. So you can type in this document. So it's the same thing from off the slide. You just won't be able to edit the slides. So that's why you have your own document. So here it says make contractions out of these words. Are not. Now all you have to do is take this, delete it, and then type your contraction for are not. Oopsies. Oh, I have this already done. Sorry. All right. Now the next one could have type your contraction. She is type your contraction. Now let's look down at the bottom here. I have to move myself. So here, you're going to create sentences using the contractions. So it is, it's, it's my turn to set the table for dinner. 
Now you're going to take those contractions at the top. So R naught, the contraction for R naught should be put in here. Could have for number two and she is for number three. I'm actually going to put number one next to that for you so that you know that those numbers go in down here. So one and one, two and two, three and three, okay? And then when you're done, you have to come all the way over here and click the share button. That means you shared it with me, okay? And I will look over it. So good luck. I'm sure you're going to do fantastic, and I will talk to you soon. And remember, if you have any questions, reach out to me, and we can talk about it. Alrighty, see you soon.